Hey, so I want to talk about adding data to Navisworks elements. So it's not the most um, intuitive way to add data, but it's it's a possibility if it's something you, you need to do or want to do within Navisworks. So I'm going to click this roof. And to give you something to start with, this is the sample file. It's the stadium, the ice stadium, and it's the NWD. So if you do, you come up here to application menu, you can go and open up sample files and you should have it. If you don't, uh, use, if you have Revit, uh, use the authoring tool to create uh, just a couple elements, export out NWC and open it. You should be good as long as there's something modeled that you're, you can use. Um, there isn't any, you can't. In Navis works, you can't open it and then model some stuff, so you do have to have an authoring tool to do that for you. So after you do that, you click the element. You can come over here into the properties dialog box. And if you don't see your properties dialog box, you can come over to view and then drop down window. And you can find your properties uh, box right here. So just check this on and it'll pop up. There's also another location you can do to uh, display that. So yeah, if you come to the home tab, you can go to display and then you can uh, press this. You can also use the shift plus F7 uh, keyboard shortcut. So after you get that, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna expand that. So after you get that open, you can right click into the window and say add new user tab and then you can go to your user tab and you can rename that tab to uh, whatever it is that you you want it to be named so I'm just gonna name it data and then you come here to insert new properties so you have a string boolean float and an integer so if we do a string we just put a string value so some text so we can say uh, middle and then we can come over here and say actually real quick if we go right under under the 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 value we can double click and then we get this little dialog box to say enter property value also if you right click you you have to right click up here or you know along this this uh, this data entry and then you can say enter new or you can say edit property value and that gives you t that gets you to the same dialog box so we can say yes it is okay we can insert a boolean and that's just gonna be a yes and no or a true and false I can say that this is is this a roof? Double click it and it changes the value. You can also come here and set the the value. Let's insert a float. So this gives you some decimal points that you can kind of put in there. And so if we, uh, let's say, uh, finished. We can say it's yeah ninety five point five percent finished. So we can see that value changes again. If you right click, you can you can edit property value from there. It's gonna prompt the same dialog box. Right click and we'll enter in the last one, which is the integer, and that's gonna give you us an option to do whole numbers, and not give us the option to do. Uh, uh, the decimal points with with added you know with more defined numbers so if we maybe you know give this construction click out of it we can give it a whole number so 95 and if you do do something like a 0.5 it's gonna prompt you an error so invalid integer press ok right click rename property or, or right click edit value or double click it 
uh, 95 and then press OK and then that value is updated. So that's kind of the options you have to, to add data to it. There's also some options to add links to different elements. So if you want to attach like images and stuff, I'm going to press OK or exit on that. You can have, add a number of, of tabs in there as well, as you see. And I don't think you have an option of adding more properties to multiple elements. So you select the element, you add your property. So like I said, it's not the most intuitive way, but if you wanted to add property values to specific elements within Navisworks, you have that option. You know, maybe if you want to share it between consultants or partners, then you, you have that ability to do so. Maybe to to visually and represent the, the, the information a little bit better by adding that there for whoever it is that's using these models. So I hope this helps you. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.